Hello, sports fans. This is George Reck from Babson College. I see by the calendar on the wall it's March. And for any Hoop fan, that can only mean one thing, the NCAA tournament and March Madness. And for a lot of us, that means a little bit more than just watching the games. So many people throughout the country will be playing in office pools. In fact, our very own President Barack Obama got a lot of notoriety for playing the ESPN pool last year. And, as a matter of fact, he picked UNC to go all the way. So he must have known something, maybe had some inside information. Well, I thought about it, and I said, you know, if you're playing in a tournament pool, either if it's an office pool or a pool with several hundred thousand people like ESPN, you might need that tiebreaker to win it all. And with ESPN, winning it all meant a lot of money. So what I did is I went back to 1979 classic game between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson for Indiana State and Michigan State. One of the great games of all time. And I kept track of the total points scored in each championship game from 1979 to 2008. And some very interesting things uh, uh, occurred to me. One was that the scoring in general is up. And that's pretty true. And it's statistically significant as well. In addition, I said to myself, how can I use this information to help me win these pools or help others win these pools? Well, one of the things I analyzed was, let's see, championship game, overtime, can't be a tie game, so that probably means it's going to be odd points scored. Well, wouldn't you know, 20 out of the 30 years starting in 1979, an odd point total occurred. Then I thought further and I said, is there a popular number? Well, as it turns out, 159 total points occurred on four different championship games. No other game had more than two, no other number had more than two. So what, are, what, what can I do with that? So my advice would be, and I tried to test this going into the 2009 game, I'd pick 159. Fairly high total, it's odd, and was the most frequently occurring number. Well, guess what came out in 2009? 161. I didn't hit it on the nose, it was odd, it was fairly high and pretty close to 159. And interestingly enough, 161 had never hit before. So I'm going to stick with 159 for this year and you might want to too. That's all for now, signing off from Babson College, this is George Reck.